All right, a foggy day here in the Bay Area, so I'm gonna do a little color mixing. All right, so you guys know I like painting seascapes. One of the things that attracts me to the ocean and to painting seascapes is the color in the water. There's all these amazing blue greens, uh, usually in the breaking waves and then like sort of in the swirling water around rocks and that kind of thing. I find that I'm not quite able to capture that color. You know, I can mix a close approximation when I'm out there, but then I come inside and it just seems dull. So I'm thinking that I need to add some sort of blue green to my palette. So. That's what I'm going to do right now is experiment with some blue greens. All right, so from left to right, we have Thalo Green from Utrecht and from Grumbacher. They use they both use the same pigment, which is PG7, um, pigment green 7. Uh, in the middle, we have Viridian, uh, which is PG18 for Utrecht. Grumbacher didn't have a pigment code, um, so that'll be interesting to see how they compare. And then Thalo Blue Green Shade. So this is a blue that leans towards green and we've got pigment blue 15 or PB15. Again, the Grumbacher did not have any pigment code. So again, Utrecht and Grumbacher. Got some titanium white already loaded out here so that we can, these are obviously pretty dark. So we're gonna mix, um, we're gonna mix these with white to kind of see what we get. These colors are all semi-transparent. So if we mix in some of this white, it's going to make it more opaque because the white is opaque. Okay, and I'm just going to go down and mix like a base tone um, for all of these to see how they compare and then we'll kind of, uh, you know, do some tinting with, you know, add some white and spread it out, see what it looks like. It'd be interesting to see how close, these are the same exact um, pigment, right? So. And thalos are super strong tinting. So I don't use them very often. Like in fact, I've never used thalo green before. I've had these for years, but I just don't use thalo green. Occasionally I'll use thalo blue. But like I said, it's a very, it's super powerful. I'm gonna try to match these in uh, value. Okay. Pretty close. I think this seems a little, a tad stronger maybe. All right, let's try the Viridian. Again, we got Utrecht right here. The X is so that my camera will stay focused. Hopefully it is staying focused. Now, I tried Viridian years ago and I did not like it for some reason. I couldn't find a way to use it that was really, um, it just didn't seem to work for me at all. Uh, and I've heard that it's sort of a dirtier version of phthalo green, which seems to be the case. As you guys notice, that's definitely grayed down compared to this, but similar color. All right, let's do the same here with the uh, Grumbacher. Yeah, definitely not as strong as far as tinting power goes. So easier to control, but you don't get the vibrancy for sure. It's definitely more grayed down. In fact, this one here, the Grumbacher, um, seems to be less powerful than the um, Utrecht Viridian. Okay, very similar. Uh, this, the Utrecht seems a little bit warmer, just a touch. I mean, just very little bit. All right, let's do the Thalo Blue. Now, Thalo Blue I have on my palette sometimes, uh, but I tend to use it with, um, actually I use Cerulean Hue um, by Utrecht which is phthalo blue mixed with white. And the nice thing about that is it just makes it a lot easier to control. Um, oftentimes, if you've got phthalo on your palette, um, it just gets into everything. It stains your brushes. I mean, it's just super strong. All right, so again, we've got Utrecht and then Grumbacher. Now these Grumbacher paints were given to me um, and they're very old. They're like from the 1970s, I think. 
mean, they're still, they still work. They're still fine. But there's no pigment codes. Maybe putting pigment codes onto, um, onto the paint uh, tubes is a new thing. Those are really comparable, actually. Okay. So now I'm going to mix in a little bit of white and kind of, kind of, uh, cause as I said, I'm looking for, to kind of get some good, uh, you know, like blue greens for the ocean. Pretty nice. Okay. So those seem to be pretty close. Um, which makes sense because, you know, they're using the same pigment. Very close. All right, so the Viridian has much less tinting power. I mean, if I add a little bit of white to it, it really lightens it up a lot. Obviously the Thalos, the Thalo green and the Thalo blue are very saturated. The Viridian is, is really kind of a green, it's, a, it's very grayed down. And yeah, I think it is an accurate description to say that the, um, that the Thalo is sort of a, uh, or the Viridian is a grayed down version of the Thalo green. All right, so I'm just gonna experiment by mixing in, mixing a little bit of this with some lemon yellow. Wow, that makes a really radiant green. Assuming this one's gonna be the same. Obviously because the pigment is so, you know, they're the same pigments. Yeah, this Grumbacher, definitely less tinting power than the uh, Viridian by uh, Utrecht. All right, so this row is mixed with a little bit of cadmium yellow lemon. I've got this other paint, this uh, Hansa Yellow Light from Utrecht. This is an inexpensive paint. I just wanna see how it compares. All right, and I'm gonna mix these up here just cause I'm running out of space. Hansa Yellow Light. Hansa Yellow Light is definitely warmer than the Cad Yellow Lemon. Let's see if I can put some out and so you can see. It's close in color to some of the Cadmium Yellow Lights that I've used. All right, here is mixed with Viridian. Seems like it has pretty good tinting strength, actually, to be honest. I'm kind of impressed. I think I'm gonna have to experiment with this. It's a very, it seems to be a useful color. I don't know, I'll have to take this, I'll have to take this yellow out into the field and see if, see what I can do with it. Yeah, those look good, those look pretty close. I think I'm gonna put some phthalo green on my palette for when I go do seascapes because these blue greens are the closest to what I've seen in the ocean. Even if I just use little pops of this color, um, I think this could be really useful. All right, so I'm gonna head to the coast and experiment with these colors. Hope you enjoyed this little mixing exercise. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you in the next video.